Now I'm going to give you some marketing tips on actually how to, to get some business and actually how to make a little bit of money at this. I've never really done this for money. The money has come. I do it because I love it, because I enjoy it. People see that. People understand that I'm, I'm doing it for the fun of it. Of course, now I do do it for a living, so I do need to make some money while doing it. What you want to do is learn how to do the balloons. So study the video, learn how to do the tech and techniques, and learn how to make as many different kinds of animals and characters as you can, and then go out and find some business. <clears throat> And the best way to do that is either start out doing some volunteer work, doing some charity work, or possibly even getting a restaurant. Restaurants are a good way of actually meeting families. So find a, find a family style restaurant that kids are going to come in, and if they have a kids night, that's perfect. See if you can come in on a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night when kids night. Always Saturday and Sunday afternoons are the best. A lot of times if you start doing the birthday parties and you start doing the, the actual private parties, that's when your main time is going to be. And that's where you're going to get top dollars on Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoons. So if you can find a restaurant during the week, even if you are starting to do this professionally, start doing restaurants during the week. It keeps generating more and more business. Another thing you want to do is get business cards made. You don't really want to get the, the generic business card that just has your name, flower clown with your web page and your phone number. You actually want to do something more colorful. If you, if you have a, 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 just a generic business card, odds are the parents may or may not keep it. What you want to do is get that card into the kids' hands. The kids will hold onto the card, and the kids will tell the parents that they want so-and-so clown for their birthday party. So try to find something that's colorful with, the, with your clown picture on it. And if you do get really good at the balloons, one of the cards I've found out to do is actually put a lot of the balloons on the picture with yourself. The kids will keep this. A lot of times I've actually signed the cards and autographed them and the kids have kept these. A few times I've had parents call and request that I bring another card when I come to the party because the child has kept the card in their hands for the past two weeks, have chewed on it, and now the card has kind of turned to mush and it's not looking so good. So they want a fresh card for the child. <clears throat> Another thing you can do is um, you know, just keep working, just keep going out into public. If you're practicing the balloons, make sure those balloons go into somebody's hands. Don't just make a pile of balloons in your house, take a needle and pop them all and throw them away. Take those balloons, put them inside of a, a nice big garbage bag, a plastic bag, take them to your local library, take them to your local elementary school, say here, explain who you are, say that I'm practicing making balloons, I have all these balloons made, can you pass these out to the children? You can also leave a few business cards with them, and they can pass out the cards to the kids as well. Networking is what you want to do. You want to keep, keep going out there, keep, keep the balloons out there, and after a while you will get known. Another good thing to do is actually join a clown alley. Every major city, and even some of the smaller cities across the states or across the world, have clown alleys. It's a good way of meeting other clowns. It's a good way of practicing. It's a good way of learning different techniques. Because clowns will teach clowns. That's usually not a problem. Everybody's usually pretty helpful and, and pretty good at, at teaching you how to paint your face, getting you costumes. If they have a used costume they want to get rid of, it's a good way of starting out. One of the ways I got my first costume is I just went to a thrift store and just bought some, some baggy kind of clothes, some bright colorful things, and I became a tramp clown or a hobo style. And those kind of clothes you can find at any thrift store. So you can actually start out very inexpensively um, you're just going to have to buy the balloons, buy a pump, get some very basic costume, get some makeup. It's going to be very cheap. But you can, once you start making the money, then starting investing the money into a nice costume, into some nice, well, nicer balloons or more balloons, and, and just work your way up. You don't want to go into debt because it may not be what you want to do. You may not like it. You may not be able to learn it as fast as some other people. So you want to start out slowly. Best of all is just have fun. It's a very fun job. I've been doing it professionally for about six, almost seven years now. I can't get enough. I, I just absolutely love it. I go out there every day and I'm making balloons. I maybe get one day off a week if I'm lucky. Usually what I have to do is take a vacation. And what I've come to do is over the winter time when business slows up a little bit, I take a two and a half month holiday every year. And that's kind of, I add up my weekends. If I had a normal job, take them all at one time because I'm end up working 24 seven when I'm at home. So best of all, have fun, enjoy, go out, make people happy. If you make people happy, people will make you happy. And that's all I can tell you. Marketing tape again.